record while I was okay. What's up everybody? Hopefully our connection stays good. Welcome back to Healthy Hunt Day with uh, myself, Dr. Donald Miller, and Dr. Shannon Pierce. Uh, we're with Mill Pond Integrative Health and Wellness and the Wellness Way, and so today we are gonna help everybody out with some healthy snack choices. So, um, you know, everybody's on the go with kids and work, and uh, you know, the biggest thing is trying to find healthy snacks uh, that, you know, that, are, that taste good and are fun and things that your kids will eat, uh, but still trying to stay healthy. So, um, we've got some, some options here for you. We're gonna kinda go through them. Um, and talk about you know why they're good and some other things and how you know a lot of these uh, uh, manufacturers they hide bad oils and sugars and and just different things in them and really detrimental to your health and so um, Dr. Shannon yeah let's go over some of this awesome food that we went shopping for so this looks a lot like what my cart typically looks like when we leave Whole Foods so that's where we are today um, I hope that the sound is okay so maybe you want to come a little bit closer and make sure that people can hear awesome so we're going to go through these step by step and now these are all things we grabbed all this at Whole Foods so if you have a Whole Foods you can find these easily but this is all stuff that you can find a lot of websites that I refer people to is like Thrive Market or Vitacost or several of these you can get at your local grocery store so it doesn't necessarily have to be Whole Foods but I know for certain you can find all of those here so let's go through a couple of things we're going to start with uh, my very first one because people always miss their tortilla chips right so the Siete chip brand has no grain so it has no wheat, but it also has no corn, which is a big thing that we take away for inflammation. So it's actually made with coconut and cassava, and it doesn't have any of the bad oils in it. So it's actually made with avocado oil. So this is a perfectly good swap for something like your regular tortilla chip. Do this instead, and they're actually delicious. Right. They taste yep. really good. Yep. So that's a really easy swap, and even for your kids, they'd never know the difference. So that's a big one. And so a big thing with chips, right, it's not only the corn, but it's mainly the oils, yeah, right? Yeah. Because they're, they're cooking it with canola oil or sunflower oil. They're just cooking it with oils that are rancid fats and just terrible for you, right? So the three things I'd want you to look out for for oils is we don't want it to be canola oil, we don't want it to be sunflower oil, and we don't want it to be safflower oil. And if you're trying to avoid those three, that will limit most chips out there, right. except for the ones that we're gonna show you. Yep, yep, and so these are the ones, I, we really like these. Um, and they're, again, there's three ingredients, right? It's potato, sea salt and coconut oil. Uh, coconut oil is one of our favorite oils. It's just uh, so beneficial to you, so protective. Um, you know, the only difference here is potatoes for versus sweet potatoes. So again, I know we say this a lot, but you need to get your food allergies tested because you know, if you're if you're allergic to, to potatoes, you can most likely do sweet potatoes or vice versa. So um, these are awesome. Again, there's only three ingredients. Um, you know, for those of you struggling with blood sugars, you definitely want to lean towards sweet potatoes. Yeah. Uh, just a lot less glucose load when you, when you consume sweet potatoes versus potatoes. But these are also a great chip to choose from. And as long as you're not allergic, when you have the choice between a white potato and a sweet potato, always choose the sweet potato. Right. But if you are in a pinch where you're really trying to do something like it's barbecue season is starting and you want some potatoes, I mean, that is a much better option than your typical potato chips are going to be. Right. Stay away from Lay's. <laughs> yeah, well, should we put different brands on blast like that? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, something kind of sweet. I know people struggle with that a lot, so we have a few really good sweet options. I love this brand, this Go Raw brand. They use a lot of seeds as their base. So I know, especially with food allergies, a lot of people are allergic to almonds or a lot of people are allergic to cashews, which is the base of a lot of these natural products. With this one, they use a lot of seeds. They use like pumpkin seeds and watermelon seeds. So it's very rare that you'll be allergic to this and they taste really good. So this is a cocoa crunch. So it's kind of like a granola. So if you're somebody who's doing like a coconut or an almond based yogurt and you want some granola on it, or just to take a handful of this when you want something sweet, this is perfectly acceptable. It has no bad oils and it has zero added sugars. It's just good cocoa powder and the different seeds that they use with that. Um, and they also have some bars. So I know we picked one of those up too. So people struggle a lot with the quick, what kind of bar can I grab? And most of them are junk. I mean, you pick up 10 bars and probably all 10 of them are gonna have something bad in it. So we're very particular about that. So these go raw bars and they have several different flavors. This is a great option and it has nothing bad in it. So that, that I like everything from that brand. I haven't found anything I don't like. So that's a great one. And guys, see with the bars, you gotta be careful because gluten is so sticky. It's just such a sticky protein that a lot of these companies will use a lot of gluten inside these bars just to hold everything together. And so for those of you, especially if you're gluten intolerant with Hashimoto's and, and celiac and Crohn's and things like that, um, you know, you definitely want to be careful with the gluten. So, yeah. um, all right, well, we got some other chips. I mean, these are plantain chips. 
plantain, kind of like a banana, right? Kids love these. They love, they, they've my got, son loves them. Yeah, they're like naturally a little sweet, right? And so, so these are a great choice, especially for the kiddos. Uh, let's go through some of the bars because, yeah. again, on a run, you know, getting just grabbing a bar uh, for a quick snack in between meals, it's just a great thing to do. Uh, this is a bulletproof bar, um, collagen fiber, right? So there's a lot of collagen. Um, most of the protein that we consume, we're consuming the, uh, the, the muscle of the animal, right? So it's very low in collagen. Um, collagen is so important for gut health. Um, it's good for hair, skin, and nail, nails. I mean, it's just, it really just helps tighten everything up. Um, and so it's gonna tighten your skin, it's gonna tighten your, your gut lining. So those of you that are dealing with leaky gut and things like that, really going to help to, to fix that pores, yeah. uh, that gut that you're dealing with. And so um, there is mostly nuts in here. Um, the collagen protein, grass-fed, really, really important, guys. Any kind of protein that you're consuming, making sure it's grass-fed because you are what you eat, right? So those meats and the snacks out there that are made with meats, if they're not grass-fed, that means that they're fed with, you know, corn-based and grain-based foods which makes them very high in omega-6s, right? Especially linoleic and arachidonic acids, which are just, you know, the more that you consume, the higher risk of developing cancer, Alzheimer's, and things like that. So grass-fed, extremely important. Yes, very much so. Just another variety of the Go Raw Bar. This one's a Raisin Crunch, so it has a little bit of sweetness to it. That's a great option too. Um, the Lar Bars, now you have to be careful with these ones because not all of them are acceptable. And they do have a little bit of higher sugar. Now the sugar only comes from dates, so it is just from a food source, so there's no added sugar. But there is a little bit more sugar. But why I love this bar so much is if you flip it over, the only two ingredients in this entire bar is cashews and dates. That's it, those are the only two ingredients. Now you can find some with cashews, you can find some with almonds, they have a couple of different flavors. Just watch out if there's more flavors on the back that you're not allergic to one of those, but these are just clean. So yes, they do have a little bit more sugar content to them, but it's just naturally occurring sugars from those foods, which we're always much more comfortable with than any of the added sugars. Yep, we got some sweets in here we're gonna get into here in just a minute for those of you that, that have that sweet tooth, there is a healthy way, because I am guilty, right? Because uh, my wife knows that I love my sweets. Don't make anything if it's not good for me because it will get eaten, yep. right? That's the, uh, the model of my, in my house. So. That's so true. So just a couple of extra just quick snacks to take on the go. This is my favorite. I tell everyone this. So sea salt macadamia nuts, they're just like a little bit sweet and they have a good taste to them. That a handful of these, if I'm really craving something sweet, is usually enough to nip it and then I don't feel like I need something else. It's also good. Very few people are allergic to macadamia nuts, unlike almonds and peanuts, which we see really often. So it's a good low allergy snack for you to have that you're going to be able to, you know, grab really quickly. So I love those. Yeah, those are good. Tell them about your jerky find. Yeah. So <laughs> my son loves jerky. He's and I'm a big jerky fan. You, you guys, if you look at, if you just like look at the back of jerky, because you're spending a lot of money on jerky typically, yeah, yeah. And, and a lot of times it's terrible oil and there's a ton of sugar. Right, and so you and soy and soy, and soy right as a preservative. And so you got to look. Um, I like wild meats, right? And so there's different ways you can prepare your meat to get the gamey flavor out. But if you think about it, the animals that are in the wild, they're eating exactly what they should be eating because they're in the wild. They're not farm raised, and so their nutrient content is going to be very, very good, right? And so getting a jerky like a venison jerky, uh, which is deer. It's not Bambi, okay? So we're good with the venison. Don't let your, don't tell your kids it's Bambi, right? Because it's not. But again, guys, this is grass-fed venison. Uh, again, very important. We just talked about the grass-fed. It's sea salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. So uh, a great snack. It's going to give you that protein boost. It's going to give you that energy boost in the middle of the day. Uh, really good idea. Yes, the Epic brand is a good one. This is my probably favorite sweet treat. I'm not really a huge chocolate fan, so that's not my thing, but we'll show you a few of those. I like caramel flavored stuff. So these are little salted caramel snickerdoodles, and there is nothing bad in these. There's not even sugar added. So they use organic uh, coconut sugar for it, so there's no cane sugar in it. It's just unsweetened coconut, coconut sugar, organic coconut oil, uh, and vanilla extract and pink Himalayan sea salt. That's the only thing in these and they're delicious and your kids will love them. They have a chocolate flavor, they have a plain flavor, they have the caramel flavor. So find one that you like, but these are great quick snacks to have and they are delicious. All right, so let's talk a little bit about sweets. <laughs> so, uh, so chocolate, right? Um, Chocolate, you know, cacao, it's very healthy for you, you know, especially women. I mean, it's almost essential for women to be consuming cacao. Dr. Shannon could uh, talk more about why that's the case. I just know my wife likes chocolate, so get her healthy chocolate, right? But um, again, guys, a lot of chocolate. 
Hershey's chocolate is not real chocolate. I mean, the processing that that goes through, the sugars, the preservatives, I mean, all the junk that's put in that chocolate, that is not healthy chocolate, even if it's the dark chocolate, because there's a lot of people out there, they're consuming dark chocolate thinking they're doing something right, but again, it's a bunch of sugar, a bunch of preservative, it's just processed terribly. So, uh, you know, pure chocolate with just a couple ingredients. This one's sweetened with agave nectar. There's a couple other ones that we found that are sweetened with, with uh, honey. Uh, much better sweeteners than, than cane sugar, right? Um, Here's a cookie dough. Uh, again, you think cookie dough, wow, unhealthy, but guys, this is sweetened with maple syrup. So another very good alternative uh, to sugar. These are great, great And it's snacks. actually a coconut base. It's not really a dough base, so there's no wheat. It's sweetened with maple uh, syrup, and they are also delicious. So if you like little cookie dough balls, or yeah, that, that's a good alternative. Put, in, put it in your healthy ice cream. That's what I was gonna say, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so not a moo. Right, this is a great a coconut milk based ice cream. Yes, uh, with agave, so there's yep. not, there isn't even any sugar in this ice cream. That's huge. And it's good. And it's delicious. It's really so good. you can crumple up your cookie dough ball on top of your chocolate ice cream. Oh, that's good. You've never done that before though, have no, you? I have not. Really done that. <laughs> you better believe I'm going to buy all of this today and I will try it. Uh, so, those that like your, uh, you know, your peanut butter cups, a great alternative. Uh, peanuts, just not the best nut to consume, right? The phytotoxins, the things that are in uh, in peanuts. Even if you're not allergic to peanuts, I really recommend you don't do a whole lot of peanut. A great alternative for nut butters is the almond butter, the cashew butter. And so this is a, a you know a chocolate almond butter cup, right? Also sweet with maple syrup. So yep. nothing that we're showing you today has any sugar in it. So this is completely 100% okay, whether you're on the anti-inflammatory diet, whether we're just cutting out sugars, all of this stuff is approved to be able to do. I get this, yes, I get this question a lot. So, Doc, I can't have any more water. Like, what do you drink that's not water? My first answer is always more water. Like, right. Just, just keep drinking in. water, add lemon, add some flavoring to it. But if you're really in a pantry, you really just want something different, there are a few things that you can have. I actually really enjoy, so this is a Bragg's Organic Apple Cider Vinegar Drink. They have a great flavor. This is a sweet stevia, so kind of like a sweet tea. Um, they have another one that's sweet with maple syrup. But these are really good, and you're actually getting the apple cider vinegar in there, which is great for your gut lining and the acid in your stomach, and to help you absorb nutrients better. So not only will this taste different than just water, but you are getting the health benefits from the apple cider vinegar as well. So that one's perfectly acceptable. Soda drinkers who are trying to give that up or really just feel like they want a taste of something like that, these Zevia drinks have the same flavor. So this is a Dr. Zevia, like a Dr. Pepper would be. They have a cola flavor, they have a lemon lime flavor, and it has the same kind of fizz as would a normal soda. So if you're trying to really make that swap, this is a good alternative. Now, don't get me wrong, none of these are alternatives for water. You still have to be drinking half your body weight in ounces of pure water, but if you want an extra something, these are great, like a hot day at a barbecue, this would be a much better option. Kiddos, I always think about kiddos when the sodas, because that's, I mean, there's so much pop going around. Uh, these are great alternatives. And the coloring in them and the sugars that are in them are terrible. And then there's this one, which we have just confirmed is Luqua <laughs> and not Lucroy. <laughs> you have to say it fancy, so you feel fancy when you drink it. But it's just a flavored sparkling water, and they have several different flavors. We like to make like punches out of these, and you can put some fruit in them on a hot day, add some ice to it. This is great for the whole family, and there's nothing bad in them. So this will be a perfectly acceptable alternative for other than water. Right on. Well, guys, I'm sure you guys got a lot of ideas. Uh, again, you guys can get this stuff at Whole Foods, some local markets for those of you that are watching this that are in Lexington. Yep. Um, Lucky's Market, Trader Joe's, the co-op, yep. um, you know, places like that. There's, you know, they've got a lot of different alternatives. And it, Dr. Shan and I were just talking, walking through here today, you know, just a, a short, just a couple years ago even, you know, I mean, there was Nothing. so many, uh, so much less as far as option, healthy options. So, uh, you know, there's a lot more manufacturers seeing the vision and, and getting healthy stuff out there guys so um, stop eating the junk but again remember it's little tweaks you can make in your diet that makes a big difference in your overall health so and i feel like a lot of people will say like we make these food changes and well what am i supposed to eat there's tons of options but just go look for them start with these and honestly we just picked up a few of our favorites this is a fraction of what you're able to have we just wanted to give you some good ideas right. so we'll continue to do this maybe on a monthly basis to keep bringing you new fresh ideas but I'm sure with what we showed you today, you at least have a couple of weeks of ammo to get through some good, new, exciting things and get back on the bandwagon. Um, and what I'll do is take pictures of all of this and I'll post it in the comments so you can see the brands as well. Very cool. Well, guys, listen, we uh, we always look forward to coming to you guys with Healthy Hump Day on Wednesdays at 1.30. 
Uh, like our page, you can set up notifications, so if you forget, it'll pop up and let you know that we're, that we're live and, we're, and you guys can check us out. You guys, share this video around. There's a ton of people out there that need to know healthy options, healthy snack options. Meals aren't as big of an issue, but snacks are huge, right? So um, share the video around, like our video, and uh, we'll check in with you guys next Wednesday.